how to make $500 a day using Tales Factory, even as a complete beginner, without doing any of the work yourself, because this software will do it for you. I will walk you through the entire process, starting from step number one, all the way to how to actually turn this into a profitable work from home business. As always, everything that I mention in this tutorial will be linked in the description box down of this tutorial. So I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started with Tales Factory and start to make money online just like this in no time. And if you want to see how I make money online, click the second link in the description box down below or go to seekpassupercharger.com. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what is Tales Factory? Tales Factory is a really cool tool that uses AI to help you create beautiful and professional looking illustrated storybooks, even if you don't have any artistic ability or experience. With Tales Factory, you simply enter your story idea or prompt into the tool and let the AI do the rest. It will generate a series of illustrated pages that match your story's theme and tone, complete with characters, scenery, and more. You can then customize the illustrations as much or as little as you want, adding your own creative touches to make the story uniquely yours. What's great about Tales Factory is that it's designed to be easy and accessible for anyone, regardless of their artistic ability or experience. You don't need any special software or skills to get started, just an internet connection and a story idea. Plus, because it uses AI, the tool is always learning and improving, so you can be sure that your illustrations will look great every time. Tales Factory is also incredibly versatile. You can use it to create all kinds of stories, from children's books to graphic novels and everything in between. And because the tool is online, you can access it from anywhere and work on your stories whenever you have a spare moment. That makes it perfect for our money-making method today, so let's dive in. Step one, sign up to Tales Factory. To get started, you'll wanna head over to the Tales Factory website. Once you're on there, you'll see a bright and welcoming landing page with a big button that says, get started. Mm, all you have to do is click on that button to begin the sign up process. You'll then be asked to create an account by entering your email address and choosing a password. This step is quite important because it will allow you to save and access your stories whenever you like. You'll also receive updates and special offers from the Tales Factory team, so I would recommend using an email address that you check regularly. Step two, create a story. Once you've signed up for Tales Factory, it's time to start creating your story. You can begin by entering a story idea or prompt into the tool. This can be as simple or as detailed as you like, depending on how much control you wanna have over the final product. After you've entered your story idea or prompt, the AI will get to work generating a series of illustrated pages that match your story's theme and tone. The illustrations are professionally designed and look beautiful right out of the box, so you can get a sense of how your story will look in its final form. As someone who isn't exactly great at art, I was blown away by how easy it was to create a visually stunning story with Tales Factory. The illustrations are generated automatically, so you don't need to have any drawing skills to create something that looks professionally designed. But the real magic of Tales Factory lies in the editing tools. Once the AI has generated the illustrations, you can then edit and customize them as needed to make the story uniquely yours. You can adjust the colors, add or remove elements, and even change the perspective of the illustrations to better fit your vision. What I love most about Tales Factory is that it's designed to be accessible to anyone, regardless of their artistic ability. The editing tools are intuitive and easy to use, so you don't need to be a graphic designer to make changes to the illustrations. And if you're not sure where to start, there are plenty of templates and presets to choose from to give you some inspiration. Step three, download illustrations and use Removal AI for automatic background removal. Once you've finished creating your story using Tales Factory and you're satisfied with the illustrations, it's time to get down to business and start preparing them for use. This part of the process can be a little intimidating, especially if you're not used to working with image editing tools, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step and it's nothing that you can't handle. <laughs> to get started, the first thing you'll wanna do is download the illustrations from Tales Factory. It's a simple process, but one that you'll wanna make sure you do carefully to avoid any mishaps. Once you have the illustrations downloaded, you'll want to take a closer look at them to see if any background removal is needed. Now, this is where things can get a bit tricky. If there's a person in the illustration, you'll probably need to remove the background to make the design look cleaner and more professional. It might sound like a daunting task, but there are tools out there that can make it much easier. One of the best tools for automatic background removal is removal. This tool uses the power of AI to quickly and accurately remove the background from an image in just a few seconds. All you need to do is upload the image to the tool and let it work its magic. 
Once the background has been removed, you can download the image with a transparent background and use it. Of course, if you're not comfortable using an automatic background removal tool, you can always try removing the background manually using an image editing program like Photoshop or GIMP. This can be a bit more time consuming, but it definitely gives you more control over the final result. Now that you've finished creating and preparing your illustrations, it's time to upload them to a print on demand platform so that you can start making money when someone buys a product with your design on it. There are a lot of different print on demand platforms out there, but one of the best ones to use is Teespring. Teespring is a user friendly platform that allows you to upload your designs and add them to a variety of different products, including t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, and more. Once you've uploaded your designs, you can set the price for each product and start promoting them to your audience. One of the great things about Teespring is that they handle all of the manufacturing and shipping for you. That means you don't need to worry about holding inventory or shipping out products yourself. Instead, Teespring will handle all of that for you and you'll get a cut of the profits whenever someone buys a product with your design on it. To get started with Teespring, simply create an account on their website and follow the prompts to upload your designs. Make sure to choose the products that you think will be most popular with your audience and set a fair price for each product that reflects the time and effort you put into creating your designs. Once your products are live on Teespring, it's time to start promoting them to your audience. You can share your products on social media, on your website, or through email marketing. The more people who see your products, the more likely you are to make a sale and start earning money from your designs. Step five, start a faceless YouTube channel. Another way to get your creative work out there for the world to see is to start a YouTube channel where you can share your stories and promote your Teespring products. You don't even have to show your face on camera. You can create a faceless channel and focus on your illustrations and storytelling. To get started, create a YouTube account and start uploading your stories. You can add your own voiceovers or sound effects to make your stories more engaging and exciting for your viewers. Make sure to promote your Teespring products in your videos and include links to them in the video descriptions. I can tell you from experience that building a following on YouTube takes time and effort, but with consistency and dedication, you can start to grow a fan base and make money from your creative work. It's all about creating content that people enjoy and engaging with your viewers. Step six, start an Instagram page. If you prefer to use social media to promote your illustrated stories and Teespring products, Instagram is a fantastic option. It's a visual platform that's perfect for showcasing your artwork and connecting with fans who love your content. To get started, all you need to do is create an account and begin sharing your stories. I would definitely recommend using relevant hashtags to help people discover your content. And don't forget to include links to your Teespring products in your bio or posts. So with some effort and creativity, you can build a following and start making money from your creative work. And the best part is that Tales Factory does all the hard work for you. So that's how you can use this amazing AI bot to make money online. Once again, everything that we talked about in this tutorial will be linked in the description box below. And if you want to see more AI related make money online tutorials, just like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on.